The Target 12 investigators, some Rhode Island lawmakers are hoping for a major overhaul of the Access to Public Records Act. It's commonly referred to as APRA. Rhode Island House and Senate sponsors of the bill proposing more than 40 amendments to the existing law, which hasn't been updated since 2012. Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie joins us now. And Alex, we know APRA well because we use it a lot for our reporting, but really it's meant for any Rhode Islander. That's right, Kim. Anytime you're looking for a public document, anything from schools or the state agencies or the mayor's office, this law can come into play, but it can also be expensive. Representative Patricia Serpa, one of the lawmakers you, looking Senator. to change the law, said I yesterday a parent in Coventry had requested data from her local school committee about the failed school consolidation plan there. She was charged $600 for that document request. It's absolutely insane. There's no professional way to say it. And these parents shouldn't be subjected to it. Yeah, I heard from some of those parents who are frustrated about that. And we know from our experience that those costs can discourage people from seeking these public documents at all. That's right. And this proposed law would address uh, this proposed change would address some of that because mm -hmm. it lowers fees in a few different ways. So reducing the cost of a page from 15 cents down to five cents, getting two hours of free searches related to your request. That's up from one hour not getting charged for the first two hours of redacting documents and also not being charged if your request is rejected entirely. To your point, Kim, Target 12 filed an open records request to obtain emails and internal documents from the Department of Transportation related to the Washington Bridge. In order to agree to provide them, we had to send $300, an amount that the state ultimately returned amid public criticism. Another key part of this proposal, it would also double how much agencies have to pay if they knowingly violated mm. that law from $2,000 up to $4,000 plus. A judge could also impose fines. We always say more transparency is never a bad thing. <laughs> Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me.